Hello, welcome to another Robotail training video. In this video, we will learn how to do a cash up. We will also look at what the manager needs to do in the back office to finalize the shift. We will start with what the cashier needs to do. If a cashier's shift ends while the shop is still open, the cashier will need to move to the back office to do the cash up. Log out, take the cash drawer in a money bag to the back office and log in from another PC in the back office. You will automatically be logged into your open till session. Click on menu and then cash up. On the left hand side, there will be a list of items you need to count. The first one that will be selected is the cash in your drawer. The amount will show zero as we haven't started counting yet. Just below that amount is the required amount that should be in the drawer as well as the amount that we are still short. Note that depending on how your manager set up Robotil, the required amount and amount that is still short might not be visible on your screen. In the middle of the screen will be a list of notes and coins you need to count. This list might look a bit different depending on which country you are in. You use this list to count the money. Note that you do not count the value of the money. Instead, you count the number of each type of note or coin group in the list. If you only have a touch screen, you can just touch the group you want to count, or you can use the up and down buttons on the screen. You can also use the on-screen keyboard to enter the amounts. If however you have a keyboard, there is a much quicker way. You start at the top and count the number of notes for the selected group. You then just enter the amount and press enter. The selection will automatically move one down so that you can count the next group. You just continue until you've counted all the money in your drawer. You are only counting the number of notes and coins, so this will go very quickly. As you count, you will see that the total value of the cash you counted will be displayed. How the other groups are counted will differ depending on what your manager requires. You might only need to enter the full amount or you might be able to skip the other groups if your manager only requires you to count the cash. When you are done, click on Submit. You will be logged out of the till session and your till session will be closed. The next time you log in, a new till session will be started for you. Do not log in again before you are ready to start working again. If you are a cashier watching the video, you can now stop the video as that is everything you need to know on how to do a cash up. We will now have a look at what the manager needs to do in the back office app. The till session is closed, but it still needs to be finalized by the manager. Go to till sessions. We can see the till session has ended, but is not yet finalized. Select the till session. You can then choose to accept the money as counted by the cashier, or to check it and count it again. If you want to check it, the cash up screen will help you count the money. For this video, I will however choose to just accept the money as declared by the cashier. The till session will be removed from the list as it is now finalized, but we can choose to see finalized till sessions if needed. That is everything you need to know on how to do a cash up. Thank you for watching.